Hey StarCraft fans, this is Hamilcar, and I'm bringing you another set from the Pro League between MBC Game Hero and SKT1, played I think sometime last week. And this is the first set, and it's a ZVZ between Shark and the Zerg. Shark being sent out by MBC Hero, and the Zerg being sent out by SKT. Uh, just uh, quickly a few sort of housekeeping notes before I get started. The last set that I was doing, uh, as I as I posted in the in the description of the last video, I was about uh, halfway through an extremely long TVT, and my audacity crashed, and I lost the audio. And I'm trying to recover it, and I may or may not uh, post the end of that set later on. Um, but I'm doing this set uh, in the meantime as a stopgap, and hopefully it should be uh, pretty good. So. Uh, I hope it at least tides you over, um, and you can probably find the rest of the other set um, on some other commentator's channel if you look, I would imagine. Um, there are a lot of people putting out commentaries at the moment. Um, so apologies for that anyway, but I, I hope you do enjoy this set. Uh, also, thanks very much uh, to everyone who's been watching and subscribing and uh, posting comments and everything. Um, it's <laughs> Great to be able to look in uh, my YouTube uh, little channel details thing and see that I have viewers from uh, Brazil and Poland and Germany and uh, the Philippines and New Zealand and everywhere. So um, it's great that there are people enjoying these commentaries. And uh, if you are, or if there's uh, something you'd like to see me do, uh, you know, change in style or uh, you know. Any, any sort of feedback that you have, or if there's a particular set that you'd like me to commentate, please do leave a comment or send me a message or something to let me know you're out there. Um, and if you enjoy these videos, uh, do uh, do subscribe, um, because it uh, makes me uh, <laughs> it makes me feel good to, to know that uh, people do uh, do appreciate these. Um, and uh, incidentally, I have received one request for an old series between uh, Boxer and Yellow called Super Fight. Uh, so I'll be casting that series uh, relatively soon, probably sometime next week. So uh, look forward to that, and if you have any other requests, let me know. Um, getting back to the game, uh, Shark is the white Zerg at the bottom left, and the Zerg is the red Zerg at the top left, and uh, I think this is the first ZVZ I've commentated, so We'll see how I do with that. A ZVZ is probably the most distinctive of all the matchups in StarCraft. It's it's uh, very short, very fast-paced, um, and in a lot of ways very predictable. Um, there are there are only uh, there are only a couple units that ever get produced. Basically, uh, ZVZs are all about mutas and zerglings and. Uh, it, and a lot of it's about about choice of build order. Um, both of the players seem to have gone for relatively similar build orders. I think uh, I think those are both nine pools into gas. Um, so not a huge build order uh, advantage or disadvantage either way here. Um, but as you can see, uh, the Zerg has gone for a hatchery at uh, his natural, whereas. Shark is, I, I don't think, has planted a hatchery down at all. So the shark, uh, shark is probably going to uh, try to get out some early Zerglings and put some pressure on. Uh, no, he's taking straight to Lair, actually. So he's going to try to get very fast Mutas out. And meanwhile, the Zerg is pressing down with uh, a group of Zerglings. Uh, and I, I don't think he knows where Shark is yet, because he still hasn't scouted uh, either of the bottom map positions. So he's going diagonally, and he'll probably see that overlord of sharks floating out in the middle and know that he's going in the wrong direction. Uh, but by the same token, shark will know that those zerglings are out there. Uh, no, it looks like the zerglings are continuing past the overlord. Uh, so I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure if the zerg just didn't notice it. But uh, at any rate, then another overlord floating in and <laughs> the zerg doing a little dance on the ramp. But now he realizes and he's going to send his. Lings in the right direction, but uh, Shark has plenty of Lings out now, and he has put down a second hatchery to go with that lair. So uh, he's got the lair up now, and we'll see whether he goes into quick mutas. Yeah, there's the, there's the spire, of course. 
Um, Lair going down for the Zerg, but but the Zerg's Lair is, is significantly behind, and uh, Muta timing is very, very important in ZVZ. So I would say that uh, Shark is already at a significant advantage because he will have those Mutas out sooner. Um, and he has more, more Lings at the moment, so the Zerg's going to have to do something to uh, even up this imbalance. He does have his natural up, so he will have two gas and probably be able to pump more Mutas in the long term. But uh, the Zerg has seen that. Okay, Spire, Spire is going down now for the Zerg, so it'll be about a 20-25 second difference in timing, I think. But uh, incidentally, neither of these players are real uh, titans of the game. Uh, the Zerg is uh, two and four, or something like that, in, in pro league so far this season, and uh, about 40 percent overall. Uh, the shark is is a little bit better, something like 45 or 47 percent career, and uh, similar in ZVZ. But. Uh, both of these players are a little bit mediocre. The Zerg was, was supposed to be uh, the next big thing, or one of them, uh, last season, but he hasn't really panned out yet. Uh, Ling's pushing up. I think uh, it, it looks like the Zerg has speed, and, and no, sh okay, Shark now does have speed too. Uh, Shark is going to try to run past and, and get in there. Evolution Chamber and a Sunken Colony going down uh, to block those Zerglings. We'll see whether the Sunken gets up in time, though. Uh, the, Zerg is, uh, the Zerg is forced to pull drones, and here come the Lings. The Lings are going to barrel in and try to take down that Evolution Chamber. No, they're going around to the side. Two groups of Lings splitting up, and they're forcing the uh, the drones to retreat from that uh, from that natural. Now the, now the Lings are all uh, fighting, but it looks like the Zerg has an advantage in Zerglings, and he's going to force Shark to retreat. Shark took significant losses to his Zergling force there. Oh, and it looks like that's actually a spore colony. So, and another spore colony going down in the back of the Zerg's base. So he realizes that he's in trouble with this uh, early Muta Force coming out for Shark, and he is going to get down static defenses, which you occasionally see in ZVZ. It's fairly rare because for the Zerg to build a sunken colony, they not only have to sink in the resources required to build the creep colony and then do the upgrade, but they also have to sacrifice a drone, and every drone counts in ZVZ. But, uh, I, if, uh, if it's the only way to ward off those early mutas is what you have to do, and uh, the Zerg has gone in that direction. So, now the Zerg does have mutas of his own out, and we're going to see uh, <laughs> mutas dancing back and forth, and probably ultimately a muta battle, and Micro is going to decide who wins. <laughs> Planting down an extractor uh, outside the uh, main, he's going to try to distance mine, Shark is, from that hatchery. Oh, going in now, and he's going to try to pick off that sunken co uh, spore colony, but uh, the Zerg's mutas get back in time. And Shark does have a muta advantage, but it's not going to be enough to counteract the presence of that spore colony. Now he's going to try to... Oh, very clever. Picks off one drone uh, and forces others off gas. So, Shark's been doing some pretty good harassment. Now a bunch of Zerglings pushing down for the Zerg, though. And we'll see what Shark has to hold it off. He only has five Zerglings at his ramp, and they're not uh, in a concave to hold the ramp very efficiently. Mutas are coming back, but a lot of Lings are able to get in. So, we'll see if they're able to pick off some drones. If they are, that'll be uh, very bad for Shark. But uh, lots of mutas back, they should be able to pick off the Zerglings without too much trouble. And the last few Zerglings are falling back for the Zerg. So uh, we'll see probably a transition to uh, just an air battle at this point. And at this point, uh, the Zerg does have a bit of an advantage because he is ahead on gas. And Shark's trying to mine, uh, distance mine that natural geyser, but it's going to be slower than <laughs> than the Zerg's mining. The Zerg runs in with two Zerglings, and he's picked off one drone, might pick off, does pick off a second, uh, and, and this is, wow, three more Zerglings coming in. This is not good for Shark. Uh, Shark's uh, lost, lost two drones and quite a bit of mining time on gas, and that's something that uh, makes a big difference, again, in, in this particular matchup. So... Uh, at this point, it looks like the Zerg is at a bit of a lead, and he has more Scourge out, too. We'll see how well he clones those Scourge. Uh, just going in now, and a bunch of them are landing. Uh, and, and Shark's Muta Force has to fall back, and he's, he's losing Mutas to the Scourge, and he's losing Mutas to the Zerg Superior Muta Force, and Shark has lost all his Mutas. So Shark is in a lot of trouble now. 
Those mutas are going to head in and shark GG as he realizes he didn't have anything to hold off that muta force. So, uh, the Zerg takes the first game for SKT1, and uh, we'll see whether uh, they can capitalize on that lead or whether NBC will come back and tie the series at 1-1. I'll see you game two. This is Hamilcar.